Hey guys, I'm at the auto show 2014 and I'm in the high-end car section and I'm gonna show you guys what they have. I don't really know all these car names but I'm gonna try to just let you guys see what they have. And this year, they even have a Bugatti. I'm gonna show you guys that one too. I don't really know the names of these cars, so um, I can't really tell you guys. This one looks like Aston Martin, though, from the badge. I can't tell. That's look like a Phantom or something over there. And um, this is the Bugatti, as you guys can see there. Sorry. <laughs> Did you guys can see the Bugatti? Yeah, look too good in my picture. <laughs> my bad. Uh, 1.5 million dollars, the Bugatti. And um, as you guys could see, and um, look like Ferraris over there, the Phantom. And let's just keep going, so you guys could see these nice, awesome cars. See the Bugatti from the front. I'm just trying to get around these people and um, so you guys could see. See all the nice cars over there. That looks a Mercilargo or Gallardo or something like that. That's a Lotus, I think, over there. Just keep going. Look at this. A Lamborghini Aventador. Look inside. Look at these doors. Really nice Aventador. I think it's Aston Martin or something. Look at it from the front. <laughs> I'm just in love with these high-end cars, so I'm showing you guys. I'm trying to get by these people. It's my bad. Look at that from the front. Real nice. Excuse me. I think this is a Phantom or something like that. And over here is Maserati. That's my jam, Lily. It's I don't know what these Maserati are, but yeah. And uh, and I used to think Maserati was expensive, but the guy told me that um, Maserati is not that expensive. They have like for 60 and 50k. This is not that high end, but I'm gonna still show you guys these. A Dodge Viper. It looks like someone raced in it or something. This is a Charger. A Jeep, a 300, a Challenger. This is the engine of the Viper. And look at this. Bam! The Viper. It's really nice. Look at this baby. It's spinning around, but I still want to show you guys Range Rovers. That was like kind of one of my main points for coming in this 2014 Chicago Auto Show. So let's walk over there. I'm just showing you guys like the coolest car I think. See, they just have like these Volvos and stuff. Yeah. 
yeah, this is Volvo area. That's the Phantom or whatever it is, goes, which car it is. This is Toyota. I'm just trying to go to the Range Rover so you guys could see. Now, truck DNA is better than the bed, four wheel drive systems, as well as in the frame. Where is it? I lost it. HUD will have very compelling powertrains here. Of a 2.5 liter inline four cylinder gas engine. Where was Range Rover? Also, have an available 3.6 liter V6 with over 300 horsepower, 270 pounds. I'm looking torque. around, guys. I'm Both lost. those engines will take advantage of direct injection as well as variable valve. Oh, this is Corvette area. Power and efficiency. But in the second model year, we're going to break the mold better than ever before with a 2.8 liter Duramax. Look at this baby. It looked like a what? Z06, some one of them, I don't know. This is the C7, I think. I think this is the C7. There's a Camaro over there. Look at this baby. I don't know what that car, what car that is. Let's see. It looks nice. And I'm trying to find Range Rover and I'm lost with all these cars around. See, they look like a C7. Yeah, it is a C7. A C7 again. This is not Range Rover here. I don't know where I'm at, guys. And I don't want to look at the map, so just enjoy this view. Oh, this is Cadillac. Wow. I didn't even see Cadillac. Where did I go? Well, I'm officially lost. This is the new generation Cadillac coming out. 20 whatever. This is the 2015 Cadillac Escalade. Look at this Cadillac Escalade again. The 2015. I'll check that out later. Let's see the inside. How it looks in the front. I don't know where Range Rover is, so I'm gonna just look. 2015 Cadillac Escalade. This is a CTS vehicle. Then where is Range Rover? This is James. Yep, there as you guys could see. That's a Lexus with a bike on the top. Cool. She's not here. 
I know that I came in the middle, so that's Cadillac area, Chevy, just past GMC. Range Rover should be somewhere in the back here. Look at that baby. A Lincoln MK0 or whatever. I know my phone don't have that much video recordable stuff, so I'm just doing the cool cars. Well, the cars, I think that's cool cars. I know you guys don't want to see. Oh, here's a Range Rover. I missed it. I walked right over there and went up that way. Um, I know you guys don't want to see, like, over the other side, they're just like normal cars, like Nissan, stuff like that. You guys don't want to see that. The Evoque. I wish it was just me here so I could record and talk and show you guys the cars. Evoque. Lincoln. This is a Land Rover something. I don't care for them too much. This is a Sport. I think it's a 2014 Sport. Look at this one. This is a Sport too. The Evoque. The new Range Rover. Look at it. The new Range Rover. Start over 100k. See? Look at the inside. Then this is the Sport too. <laughs> Look at that one. Look at that. In the back of the new Range Rover. They have a TV screen. I don't know if you guys can see that. And like a computer thing. It's so cool. See? All I see is Range Rovers. I don't know what is what anymore. <laughs> See, this is a Land Rover. The Evoque. And I'm in Jaguar. The Jag. See? See the jack. See Infinities over there. Infinities. So, you want to open the hood? Are you sure? Because you guys don't sound too enthusiastic about it. They're going to open the hood of the Viper. Go ahead and open up the hood. You want to get this beautiful forward hinge clamshell hood which is carbon fiber. We do have an 8.4 liter V10 engine. Now this engine is going to give you 640 horsepower. That is the most power we have ever offered in a Viper engine. It is also gonna give you 600 pounds foot of torque, which is the most torque that is currently available in any naturally aspirated engine. That is right, you heard me correctly. Naturally aspirated, no turbos, no super, Boosters, nothing in there to give it any additional ramp up. That's all pure raw power right there under the hood. In fact, it is so much power, you are going to go 0 to 60 in 3.3 seconds. Wow. I think that's fast. What do you think? Yeah! Start it! Start it! They won't let us start it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Now we also oh, have this engine on display right here. Okay guys, as you see, um, uh, let's go back to the um, Lamborghinis and awesome car. That was cool, 640 natural. 
power, no twin turbos, no turbos, superchargers, nothing. That's cool. Go back by the Bugatti and stuff so you guys could see. Try to go from the other side so you guys could see the other side too. Okay, see? The Aston Martin, as you guys saw earlier. The Aventador. Let's use the Aventador. It is the Aventador, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know my cars. There's a lot of people. Commercial arc white tank.